going to talk about the inclusion exclusion principle. The inclusion exclusion principle. Which sounds a bit political, but actually it's just about counting elements in sets. So let's start with a very crude example, first of all. I'm going to draw a very crude Venn diagram. Here's a set and uh, another set. So let's call this set A, and let's call this set B. And I'm just going to draw some blobs for elements in this set. So I think there's going to be three elements in here, two in the intersection, and maybe four over there. OK, so the question is, how many elements are there in the union? So how many elements are there in A union B? OK, remember that if I put vertical lines around a set, then that says how many elements are there. Well, OK, I can just count them, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right, so there are nine elements. Now, how does that compare with the number of elements in A and the number of elements in B? Do I just add them up? Well, no, I clearly don't just add them up. Because if I added up all the elements in A and all the elements in B, what would I have done wrong? Well, I'd have counted the elements in the intersection too many times, right? Because if I go one, two, three, four, five elements in A, so this is five, and then there's one, two, three, four, five, six elements in B. But I've counted the elements in the intersection twice. So how many elements are there in the intersection? There are two. So I have to take that number off again, because that's the, the ones I counted twice. So I have to take off the two that I counted too many times. I just want to count them once, right? So what I've got to do is subtract the number of things in the intersection. Okay, so that gives me nine, as it's supposed to. So this is a general principle, that what I do is I count these ones, and then I count these ones, and then I go, oops, I counted the ones in the intersection twice, so I have to subtract one lot of them again. So the answer is that the number of elements in the union is the number of elements in A, plus the number of elements in B take away the number of elements in the intersection. So let's have another example of how this works. Let's say um, how many numbers from 1 to, let's see, uh, from 1 to uh, 18 are divisible by 2 or 3. So let's do it the stupid way. Let's draw a big Venn diagram and have these ones being the ones divisible by 2, and these ones being the ones divisible by 3. Okay. So we're going to go 2, 4, oh, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. And then here we're going to go 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18. Okay. So what you'll notice is that, what do you notice about the ones in here? Well, the ones in there are the ones that are divisible by 2 and by 3. So that's exactly the numbers that are divisible by, t by 6, actually. So the intersection, if this is A and this is B, then A intersection B is, I should probably be uh, a bit more precise about this, but it's the numbers 
divisible by 6, because they're divisible by 2 and 3. So how do we count them? In fact, we take the number of numbers divisible by 2, and we add it to the number of numbers divisible by 3, and we subtract the number of numbers divisible by 6, because that's 2 and 3. So we know that there are 9 numbers divisible by 2, because up to 18, that's, that's if we do the 2 times there, we've got 9 times, right? And how many divisible by 3? Well, we know that's 6, because if we go up to 18, we've got 6 times. And then we subtract the number divisible by 6, which is 3. So instead of just standing there and counting them, we could do it like this. That's 9 add 6, which is 15, take away 3 is 12. And then we can check that there really are 12 numbers all together up there. So that's all very well. But now, how about seeing what happens if we've got three sets? So why don't you press pause for a second and see if you can work out how it works for three sets. Have you worked it out? Let's draw a picture, shall we? And uh, do it a slightly silly way. Just by drawing a picture and thinking about it a bit. So here's my three intersecting things in a Venn diagram. Now supposing I've got a few things in here, a few things in there, something in here, maybe a couple things in there, a few things in there, a couple things in here, and a thing in there. Now if I just start, we're going to take Count the number of elements in A, union B, union C. Here's A, here's B, and here's C. Okay. Now, if I start by counting all the elements in A, then I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And if I then count all the ones in B, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then I count all the ones in C, I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So now I've counted some things too many times, right? How many too many times have I counted them? Well, all the ones that are just in a double intersection, I've counted twice. But now it's more complicated because all the ones in this triple intersection here, I've actually counted three times. So what I'm going to do now is say, well, OK, I'm going to take off everything in an intersection. right? So I'm now going to subtract everything in A intersection B, but A intersection B is this whole bit here, right? So that's one, two, three, four, five things. And now I'm going to subtract everything in A intersection C, which is this bit, that's four things. And now I'm going to subtract everything in B intersection C, which is three things. But now do you see what's happened? I've subtracted everything in here, I've subtracted things in here, and I've subtracted things in here, but now I've subtracted the things in the middle too many times, because the things in this intersection, the, the triple intersection, I've actually subtracted three times now. Now I only counted them three times in the first place. So after this stage, I counted the things in the middle three times. After this stage, I've counted them no times at all. So now I have to add them back on again. So now I have to add back on the things in the triple intersection. How many of those are there? Two. So you see, we had to add these ones, then subtract those ones, and then add that one back on again. So let's see if we got the right answer. Ta 10 add 8 add 6 is 24. Take away 5 is 19, take away 4 is 15, take away 3 is 12, add 2 again, which is 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Phew!